this is something that have been really like highly requested of me to actually put in my contact lens on camera I never did ever think that I'd do a video on this just because I felt like it's a very self-explanatory thing um, in terms of how to put in your contact lens but since lately I've been seeing where a lot of you guys have been requesting me to actually show how I apply my contact lens to my eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and I kind of want to go ahead after applying them I want to do like a photo ready glam today just something that you know is very Instagram looking you know that whole social media type of makeup look yeah so something that is photo ready something that you can rock at a photo shoot you know any type of shoot video shoot photo shoot instagram you know just that type of body look there yeah but first i went ahead and did my brows off camera as usual you guys need a detailed brush tutorial i'll list one down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out now today the lens i'm using there stone gray from Bolongis.com. So that's the name of it, Stone Grey, and it's Colors of the Wind. And I really love this. This is like since lately, since recent times, this is like one of my go to contact lens. Really, really love it. You've seen it in a couple of my previous, um, recent previous um, videos here on my channel. So this is what I'm gonna go ahead and apply today. All right, now I have received a lot of questions. From you guys like a lot of people saying how can you apply contact lens with such long nails right and the thing is you don't apply the contact lens with your nails like you don't apply it with the tip of your nails you apply it with right here like the tip of your fingers not your nails like and you need to make sure that you're doing this with clean hands and placing emphasis on clean okay so make sure that your hands is clean that you don't want to play with your eyes anyway there so what I go ahead and do, and do is just, you know, take out the lens out of the container. And what I usually do is put it right here on my finger. Right here. So it's not on your nails. If you guys can see. It's on your finger. Take it. First, it will be weird, it will be a bit challenging. If you've never wear, worn lens before in your life, trust me, it's going to give you a bit of a challenge. It might not um, go in as easy as you'd like, but it takes a little bit of practice. And this is how, this is the way that works for me. Sometimes here and there, I'd, I'll still have a little bit of difficulty because sometimes the lens just don't want to go in, but this is how I apply it all the time i open up my eyes so i look in the mirror open my eyes up really wide and i don't even let my fingertip um tap on my eyes i let the part that's hanging off of the the my fingertip tap onto my eyeball and then it, it'll just kind of you know slide onto the eyeball i don't know if that makes much sense but as you can see it's in my eye <laughs> So that's all I literally do. You see, it's really not that hard. At first, when it goes in, your eyes will be a little bit watery. Naturally, that always happens. And then it takes a couple minutes before I really, you know, feel normal. At first, you'll feel like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, mega blind. Jesus Christ, what going on? Oh Lord, I can't see nothing. Please. <laughs> it's normal. It's normal. And if you can't see nothing, then something is wrong. I was just joking. You should be able to see so I'm going to do, go ahead and do the same thing to the next eye. This time I just want to zoom up a little bit more on the eyes for you guys. Lens is, uh, you see how it's hanging off right there? I open up my eyes wide. And it slips right on. And it's as simple as that. See, it's really not hard. It's really practice. So if you guys can just follow those, you know, very simple steps that I just gave and do this over time it will get easier and easier as i said as i mentioned before if it's the first time you're doing it trust me you will come across a little bit of challenges but over time you'll get more and more used to it and it will become easier to you so that's pretty much it guys don't forget to go ahead and check out all the information on the links down below in the description box if you're interested in getting these lens or any other color from balungis.com my discount code is petitsu go ahead and make use of that now let's go ahead and jump right on into the makeup tutorial all right guys so to start off 
I'm going to first go in and cry my face and I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Primer. You guys know that. Definitely love this primer. Super mattifying. I see a lot of people using it. It's very close to Milk of Magnesia, which a lot of people use, which is not necessarily clean for makeup use, but this is. So I feel like this is definitely a go. Okay, so to move on, before I go in and apply my concealer, I want to just go ahead and, and moisturize my lips a bit. And I'm taking my Victoria's Secret Extreme Plumper Crystal in clear today. This is a lip plumper. But I use it all the time and I really plump my lip then like that. But this is a plumper. Have a little tingling feeling, but nothing you can't bear, nothing you can't handle at all. Because I feel like I want to go in with a matte lippy today. But you guys know me. I'll say my time by the end of the video, I'm changing my angle glossy, plus I don't know my look glossy already, so. But, you know, the usual, going into highlight, highlight, not much, highlight, because this is like two shades lighter than me, this is fun from um, Eligor Pro Concealer. To set my highlighted portions today, I'm going to actually be going in with my Tarte's Contour Kit from Tarte. And I'm going to go in with this yellowy shade right here. It's looking a bit washed out on camera, but yeah. Milani press powder in warm 109 let me all the way to the ocean you told me don't worry I'm gonna go in and do a little baking you guys know I love to bake because it helps with the longevity of the makeup and just to catch eyeshadow follows when I'm doing my eye makeup so today for the eyes this is the palette I'm using I'm using my Morphe 25A palette and this has a lot of beautiful new colors. It has shimmery colors, matte colors, kind of cool colors going here. But for the most part, everything is really warm. So I'm going to create something. I'm going to win something today. I'm not sure what exactly. I probably want to create like a gradient effect on the eye and kind of just blow out everything else. So I feel for my transition color, I'm going to go in with, I've been feeling the reddish brownish transitions from the, from, the, from the other day so this is the brown I'm taking and this is just a regular BH Cosmetics like small blending brush and guys if you're wondering why I don't go ahead and shape my brows because you're seeing the little brow hairs here at the concealed area that's because I'm kind of growing it out Oh, I feel like I kind of want to have like a half cut crease going on on my eyes. What I'm going to go ahead and do is take this like small shader brush from Vanity Planet, from a Vanity Planet set, and my Tem2 Pro concealer wheel. And this is what I'm going to use for my base today. I love using this concealer wheel for when I want to do cut crease and stuff like that. So I'm going in with this shade right here. And then I'm going to kind of blend out the edges right here. I'm going to go from dark to light. So I feel like I'm probably going to go in four shades on the lid. 
so first I want to go in with a matte shade this dark brown here cosmetics brush shade of brush to do this then I'm gonna take the same blending brush I used earlier to kind of you know blend it out at the edge then for the next shade I'm gonna go ahead and use a, my Sigma eye shade in E55 brush and I'm taking this like bronze shimmery color here and I'm going to swipe this on when it comes down to shimmery colors you swipe it in you don't just pat it but you pat and swipe so you get a more pigmented look from it and I actually I actually want to spray it with my Benai final seal this is a next fit like I love this um, sealer spray I really love this it really keeps the makeup on all day love it it's been a while since I purchased it so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and The next shadow I'm going to take is this golden shadow here. I'm gonna take this small brush and the spray to apply the final shade I want to put on the lid. So I'm using this one here. Just adding a little bit of that same dark brown to the outer portion. To just, you know, kind of blow it out a little more. So that's pretty much it for the shadows I'm going to apply to my eyes. Then, I want to do a wing. Do I want to do a wing? Hmm. Alright, I'm going to do a wing. <laughs> Taking swipe from Morphe. I got trapped in your eyes the moment you looked at me. And I feel like as I come in on the upper lash line, I'm going to really make it thin. So after I've done that now I'm going to smoke it out a little bit with the same dark brow that I used earlier on. So I'm all done with application of the shadow on my eyes and I'm going to go in with my Coco Dreaming Lashes. These are Diva and it's the first time trying out this style but I love the way they flare off. Go ahead and apply my mascara. I'm using Sigma Monumental Lash Mascara. Guys, didn't you realize I didn't even go in and contour today? And you know, I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to even stress it. So, for my glue, which is the next step, I want to go in with the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant um, Illuminating Palette. I'm going to go ahead and use these two here. So just to make everything look more like skin, I'm going to go in with my Benai Final Seal and just spray my face. My face. Seriously. And guys, this is like minty. So if I never tried before, just know that it's a little minty. But it doesn't burn my skin personally. There are other people that I've used it on and they say, you know, it's kind of, you know, you know, yeah, I have that tingly minty feeling. But it's nothing that lasts. It's nothing that you can't handle. In my previous video, I used a little bit from the same brand that I want to use today, Umbrella Club from in Los Angeles. <laughs> Umbrella Club in Los Angeles. They sent me three shades, different shades of lipids. And in my previous video, I used Vendetta, which is like probably my favorite. I know this is, I, did, I didn't try the other two, but I know this is my favorite. I just know it. I just know it. So this is Vendetta. I really love it. The consistency was amazing. Then I have this pink one and I have this nude one. And I'm really thinking about trying out the two together. But first, I feel like I want to, or I don't know, I feel like I really want to just do a very like nice ombre lip with the two. 
but first I'm gonna line my lips with brown. They're very lightweight, they're not super dry. The layer, like the consistency is very thin, but it's very opaque. Like it's amazing. So the the name of these two shades, what this one, the nude one is Costa Blanca, and this one is called Brunch. I'm gonna go ahead and use a regular brown liner to line my lips. Any brown liner you have will do, guys. Don't stress it. Okay guys, I'm all done with my makeup. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope my tips on how to apply contact lens to your eyes help you guys out. Each product that I use to achieve this uh, makeup look will be listed in the description box. Keep on supporting. Um, don't forget to go ahead and share this video if you're not subscribed. Go ahead and do so because I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about my hair, this is a wig that I... Um, I'm wearing from rpghair.com. I'll go ahead and list the information on it down below. If you're interested in going over to their site and shopping for any of their wigs, feel free to go ahead and use my discount code J U J M U E 10. This code is valid for the month of May and June. All right, so go ahead and make use for that. And if you are interested to see how I install my wig, like my wig installation or my wig application plus customization routine, I'll put the link for that down below. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. So bye.